Welcome to Two Guys in a Ride. Today we're going to review the 2021 Toyota Sienna Platinum. I'll tell you about the horsepower, cargo, dimensions, and safety. And I'll show you the interior, the controls, and all the technology. Before we get started, please subscribe to our channel. And hit that bell icon so you never miss an awesome video. So what do you say, Nate? Let's, Let's go, go for a ride. Today, we're working with our friends at Heinz Toyota in Mankato, Minnesota. The new Sienna minivan is now based on Toyota's TNGA-K platform, and it's closely related to the Highlander SUV. From the instrument panel forward, it's very similar, though after that, things do get substantially different. The floor is now one and a half inches lower than before, and there are extended length grab handles for easier exit and entry. Also new for 2021, the Sienna is only available with a four-cylinder hybrid powertrain, making this the first minivan in the U.S. to move exclusively to hybrid power. The Sienna is available in five trim levels. There's the LE at 34,460, XLE 39,750, XSE at 42,000, Limited 46,700, and the Platinum at 49,900. The Toyota Sienna Platinum, this one is presented here in pre-dawn gray mica with a noble brown leather interior, and it's stickered at 53,210. Now it is powered by a two and a half liter double overhead cam, 16 valve D4S injection with dual variable valve timing intelligence, and it produces a net hybrid system output of 240 horsepower and 199 pound feet of torque. The hybrid system on this Sienna is two permanent magnet synchronous motors with a sealed nickel metal hydride battery. Now it is driven by an electronically controlled continuously variable transmission and it uh, CVT and it does have sequential shift mode and this Sienna is front wheel drive however you can also opt for a little bit more money to get one in all wheel drive. Now out front it does have the signature by LED projector headlights and LED strip and daytime running lights with auto on off feature. It does have the integrated wide angle LED fog lights. I really do like this dark gray uh, slat grill. It has body colored front bumper with brushed chrome and black lower splitter. And uh, it's just, you got a little bit of body color down there as well. Up top, these are rain sensing variable intermittent windshield wipers. Okay, this vehicle does have an independent McPherson strut front suspension with multi uh, with um, gas shock absorbers and an anti-roll bar. And out back is a multi-link rear suspension with gas pressurized shocks and anti-roll bar as well. Four-wheel anti-lock brakes with 12.9 inch ventilated front disc and 12 and a half inch ventilated rear brake rotors. Now these are the 20 inch metallic wheels and they're wrapped in P23550R 20 tires. I like this gloss black rocker panel molding as well. And then of course these are color keyed heated power auto dimming outside mirrors and they have the blind spot warning indicators. They have puddle lights, they're power folding, reverse tilt down, they have memory, and this also does have the bird's eye view camera system. So lots going on just in the outside mirrors. And you do have of course the chrome accentuated color keyed outside door handles and it does have the black belt line trim and chrome window trim. Now it does have the hands-free dual power sliding doors with a sensor indicator right down on the gloss rocker panel strip and then up top these are chrome roof rails and there is a standard size single pane glass sunroof. Okay, out back this is a color keyed rear spoiler and it does have the center high mount LED stoplight. It does have an intermittent rear window wiper and washer. And this is a power lift gate and it has the jam protection. And I really do like this little kick up 
rear spoiler here on the lift gate. These are also LED uh, tail lights and stop lights, and I like the big blue and chrome Toyota logo and the Sienna lettering across the side. Also like the body colored rear bumper and then the rear lower bumper in, in black, gloss black, and it does have that nice little chrome strip accent. Let's take a look inside at the cargo. Okay, total passenger volume is 162.5 cubic feet. Max cargo volume behind the front row is 101 cubic feet. Max cargo volume behind the second row, 75.2 cubic feet. And max cargo volume, as you see here behind the third row, that gives you that deep well, 33 and a half cubic feet. Cargo floor length to the front row, 95 and a half inches. Cargo floor length to the second row, 57 and a half inches. And cargo floor length from the third row to the sill, 25 inches. Now, belt line width, 49 and a half inches. Cargo width at the wheelhouses, 50 inches, and cargo opening height with these seats folded down, so the floor to the ceiling, 37 inches, and a very nice low liftover height of only 26 inches. So, so what are some of the safety systems on the Sienna? You have the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. It has lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracking assist, automatic high beams, Full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, one of my absolute favorite uh, uh, items on new cars. I love that automatic cruise control. It does have road sign assist. It has 10 airbags. It has safety connect, front and rear parking assist with automatic braking, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, and I love that rear cross traffic alert as well. It has hill start assist control, and so very much more. Now, this particular Sienna actually does have a couple of items on it uh, that are options. It does have the entertainment package that includes a 1080p a high definition entertainment center with an 11.6 inch display that has uh, HDMI input, remote and two wireless headphones. And it also has the digital rear view mirror with Homelink universal transceiver. Now, let's talk about the dimensions. Okay, front track 67.7 inches, rear track 68.5 inches, overall width 78.5 inches. Overall length 203.7 inches, height 69.7 inches, has a wheelbase 2.5 inches, and a ground clearance of 6.37 inches. It's curb weight 4,725 pounds, max payload 1,380 pounds, Max towing 3,500 pounds, turning circle 39.2 feet, fuel tank capacity 18 gallons. So what about safety? Well, IIHS has rated it superior in overall frontal crash and NHTSA has given it an overall rating of five stars. Performance, uh, zero to 67.7 seconds, standing quarter mile 15.8 seconds at 88 miles an hour, top speed 116 miles an hour and 70 to zero braking 188 feet. Now appearance, well, I think it has a stylish and functional with an unmistakable silhouette and it's a good looking vehicle, very much so. Dependability, basic warranty, three years, 36,000 miles, powertrain warranty, five years, 60,000 miles, hybrid system, eight years, 100,000 miles, and the hybrid battery, 10 years, 150,000 miles. Now finally, fuel economy, and this is where this new Sienna really excels. 36 city, 36 highway, 36 combined. You know, this is a minivan, folks, and going hybrid, I think, really did a good job. So, that's my exterior review. If you missed any of the information in my review, you can re-watch the video, and please check out my notes in the description area down below. Now let's take a look inside, but before we do, Please take a moment, give us a like, leave a comment, and click on that subscribe button down below. So now, folks, I know Nathan wants to show you all the cool gadgets and reclining seats and all this kind of stuff in this car. So what do you say, Nate? Take it away. All right, and stepping on the inside here, we've got a nice combination of colors. You've got soft touch here on the armrest. You've got a, a texturized hard plastic here on the top. And then up here, you've got your auto up and down, all four windows. 
and then you've got your window lockout, your unlock and lock button. So you've got your mirror controls right here, and then you have your uh, two-person memory setting buttons right here. Down below, you've got some extra storage. You've got a little bit right up here. You've also got another deeper tray under here. And then down here, you've got two bottle holders as well as a small uh, pocket right here. Uh, that's very nice. And of course, one of your 12 JBL speakers. Now, the uh, driver's seat is an eight-way power, including lumbar. And the passenger seat is a four-way power. The seats themselves are leather surfaces. They're perforated. These are heated and ventilated front seats. Now I like the wood look on the, the trim pieces here. You see it up underneath the trays. And down here we have our foot pedals and our, a nice large foot rest. And then you do have in the center console, you have this big large second, uh, second story um, storage area. Up here you've got your hood release right here and then you've got your fuel release right here you've got your power doors switch for on or off and then up here you have your uh, trash control on or off your auto high beams you got your power turn on for your 120 volt AC outlet your heated steering wheel button and then of course your camera view button right here right next to that you have got your dashboard brightness and dimness controls and then you've got your odometer button right here the steering wheel itself is a power tilt and telescope button and that is right there all right let's step inside all right it is a push start that's right down here oh i always like it when those dials move and of course you've got a nice display here as well all right, so uh, in the middle, you have a seven inch digital screen with information. Then of course, over here, you have um, a hybrid gauge, a battery gauge. So you got charge, eco, and power. And then you've got your engine temperature here. And then um, over here, you of course got your speedometer and then a fuel gauge. All right, um, coming back to the steering wheel, um, you have got all of your controls for your driver's information screen here as well as a back button for that and then you've got a dedicated phone button as well as a voice command button and then of course for your media volume uh, up and down. Over on the right you do have adaptive cruise control it's on or off here with your resume and set here plus and minus your cancel. This is your gap setting button for your adaptive cruise control. This is your lane keeping assist with uh, steering control control uh, on or off and then this is the mode button which will switch through the different sources for your media and then of course a right uh, 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 right or left uh, seat buttons for your radio or your tracks whatever you're running through your media system over here on the left of course is your light switch and then over here is your wiper okay uh, over here you do have your hazard uh, button right here and then we come to the nine inch infotainment system and this is the premium audio system uh -huh. uh, with 12 JBL speakers it does include uh, Amazon Alexa Apple CarPlay Android Auto Bluetooth Sirius XM, uh, Sirius XM full access and HD radio now uh, we are gonna cut a separate video on everything that's in the driver's information screen and on the infotainment screen and also another video on the rear entertainment system in this vehicle so if you want to see that click on the links above okay uh, one of the nice things about the screen here of course you do have a bunch of physical buttons on the right and the left and then you have a tune and scroll and then a power and a volume button down below, you've got your four zone auto climate control system. This is the button that allows you to switch between controlling the two front zones and controlling the two rear zones from the front. All right, uh, of course, you've got your temperature settings right here. You got your sync button, which I love having the physical sync button, of course, then your mode button to change where the air comes from. Down below that, the front seats are heated and ventilated. There are three stages, and there's your ventilation. You do have your auto button for your climate control on or off for the climate system and you can turn the rear off separately from the front. Got your defroster buttons, your AC button, recirculatory, uh, and then a mode button right here. And then you have uh, your ventilated and heated seats right here for the passenger. Directly down below that, you have a wireless charging pad with a power on or off button. And then the USB port to app, um, Access Apple CarPlay or Android Auto is right here. 
I do like it that they have a physical shifter. I know some people have commented, you know, if they would use up the push button, they'd have a lot more space to use. But I like having this. Um, you can put it down into sport mode, and then even uh, even though it's a CVT transmission, you do have some plus and minuses that you can use to pretend that you're driving a car with gears. Um, over here, you've got your electronic parking brake. You just does have the auto hold feature, so you can activate that here. You've got an EV mode, you can activate that here. And then you do have some drive modes. So over here, you've got a drive mode, and the only place it shows up is in the driver's information screen on the top left, but you've got a sport mode, and then you have got um, an eco mode, and then you have got just a normal mode, which doesn't say anything. Okay. Now, right behind the, the charger, you've got a cup holder here. You also have an area that you can stick a cell phone in. Now, mine's a, a little bit tall to fit there, but it is a large smartphone. You've got another cup holder here, um, and they are, these ones here are, have some lighting in them at night. And then if I open this up right here, you've got two more cup holders. They are smaller in size. And then you have another little uh, area there. Now that's will not fit my cell phone, but it would fit a smaller phone or a Kleenex box or something like that. Okay, directly behind that, you have a push button here, and this is gonna open up the uh, center console storage area. I do like the way that opens. Inside, you've got two USB charging ports, so you have a USB-C and a USB-A, and then you do have quite a deep, I mean, by the time you close the lid, you've got a little over a foot of storage in there, so it's quite deep. And in addition to that, of course, you have your two armrests, which are padded. Okay, so over here on the passenger side, you do see the nice shelf that's built in. Down below that, of course, you have your glove compartment, and the seat's a little far forward, so I can't open it quite all the way, but it's a good-sized uh, glove compartment. Moving on up to the rear-view mirror, this is a digital rear-view mirror, so if I flick the day-night switch, it goes from being just a regular mirror that you're used to to feeding off the, one of the cameras in the rear. And there is a dedicated camera uh, in the rear. So when you look, there's actually two cameras back there. One is for the backup camera and one is for the mirror. Now, um, anytime you have a digital rear view mirror, you've got some buttons where you can adjust things. Um, so if I press this, you can see I've got up and down, left and right. I can tilt it. Um, I can magnify it. I can make it brighter. Um, I can adjust some of my home link stuff. And it, it's so it's just, and then you can zoom too. And then I can use this to, to change the brightness or dimness. And then you've got two buttons over here that activate and if I push this button again it changes the up and down it changes the left right um, we'll just show you a couple of these but see you can tilt it and then you can magnify you can trust uh, the brightness yeah that is that is on or off and then if I go here I can set up my home link buttons and if I go one more time I can go through and set the language all right on the other side you have your three traditional home link buttons okay up in the ceiling. First of all, you have this tiny little area here that this is a conversation mirror. Now, it's probably one of the smaller mirrors I've seen for a conversation, but I can see the people in the back. So it's nice that they added that. All right, you've got your SOS button here. Up here, you've got your dome light settings for being on or off with the door opening and closing. You do have your automatic open and close for the rear sliding doors, left and right. You have a button to open up the rear tailgate. And then this one here uh, this is for the sunroof. Now, this, the shade is manual, but you can slide it back and forth with this button, and you can tilt it with this button. The, the uh, reading lamps are just a push on both sides. The visors up here, of course, are backlit and they slide on both sides. All right, that being said, let's step into the second row and see what it looks like. We're ready. Okay, yeah. all right, so stepping into the second row, uh, a couple of things I noticed right away. First of all, I really like the large rubberized uh, grip handles for getting in and out. I really like those, they're really easy, they're comfortable, and they're really grippy with that rubber coating they have on them. The second thing you're gonna notice is these seats. Now, these are pretty neat seats. They're, of course, leather, they are heated, um, and, but they have some neat features. So first of all, they are, they are what we call a super long slide. 
So there's a button at the very bottom of the seat. If you pull it up, I can actually shove the seat back that far up to that close. Now, if I push it back a little bit, and I have another little uh, uh, button to pull on the front. If I extend this, I get an ottoman that pops out, okay? Which is really nice for leg rest, okay? And we'll, we'll show you that again a little bit when we get in. Now, both the seats have mat pockets in the back. And then over here, you do have a, a bag holder or it could be for a purse or something to hang on to. Just drape it right there. You've got two USB charging ports. This is a USB-C and you have a USB-A. Down below, you've got an HDMI plug-in for your entertainment system in the rear, and then you have a 120 volt household plug-in. In addition, you've got some storage down here, which is large enough to fit a, a full-size smartphone, and you've got two cup holders. All right, well, let's step in and see about dimensions and some of the other features. So the doors are automatically closing. You just push the handle and they close. You've also got a button right here to push if you want. Okay, the doors themselves have speakers in them. You've got your auto up and down window and on the second row here, you've got a manual shade that you can click up here and put in, which is really handy. I love it that they thought of doing that. You do have your reading lamp right here as well as your, one of your air vents uh, in the ceiling. You do have, in this particular vehicle, uh, an 11.6 inch entertainment screen, uh, and we will be showing you a separate video on how all that works. So if you wanna see that, you can click on the link above. Now up here, this is a four zone climate control, so this is where you have your other two zones. So you've got a nice digital readout, you've got your heated seat buttons, you've got a mode button, a fan button, and a temperature button for each side. And of course, you can turn it to auto, or you can turn the whole thing off. Now, as far as the seats go, all right, well, you know, when you have like a 25 inch sliding range, it's pretty hard to talk about me rule. But suffice it to say, I could be fairly close up here giving the people in the back a lot of leg room, and I, I, I would still have, you know, let's just say it's here, um, I'd still have a good uh, two, you know, inch and a half, two inches of space. Now, if I slide it all the way back, and I extend the ottoman, okay, I can get my feet up here, and then if I recline my seat, because there's another lever here just to pull to recline your seat, wow. That'd make for a pretty comfortable ride. Now, pull this back up. You also have, which is unusual, you have two armrests. You have one on this side, and you have one on this side. Okay, so you have two. So it's unusual to have the second one here, but you don't really have a spot to rest your hand or your arm, except for the top of the door. If you're using the shade, that would be impossible. So they thought about that, and that, that's really nice. Um, now, in addition to that, you've got a little storage here and it's rounded out so I mean you can use it for a number of features but it would work for another bottle holder okay so I got it reclined I got my feet out and I'll step behind and see actually what kind of leg room I would have with that one yep all right so in the third row the first of all um, you're gonna see that with the seat back where I had it and I was comfortable there really is not much room for anyone back here all right so it'd have to be a really small kid maybe uh, in a car seat okay now with the seat adjusted with the ottoman down and the seat adjusted so it's very comfortable for me uh we could usually ha easily have a you know three people sitting in a row here and i have got over two inches or close to two inches of space back here with knee space headroom wise i've got at least an inch so with the seat you know position where it would be normally without the ottoman there's actually a lot of room back here the seats themselves do recline, and there's a little lever here that you can pull. If you do that, you can actually recline the seat, and there's one on both sides. Now, in addition to that, as far as amenities go back here, on the uh, passenger side, there are two USB ports, a USB-A and a USB-C, as well as a, a, a headphone volume and a physical 3.5 millimeter jack to plug in for the uh, entertainment system. There are two cup holders on each side, and there's also the, the headphone plug-in and a volume switch, but there are no USB ports on the passenger side. Now, in addition to that, you have sunshades in the third row as well. 
hey, which is really nice. And they're manual, but they are really, really nice to have. We're gonna take a ride in the brand new Sienna hybrid minivan from Toyota. Okay, well, sound and quietness. You do hear that uh, four-cylinder engine drone a little bit there, but uh, not bad at all. We're up to the speed limit now. Let's see, let me set the cruise control. Get out here on the highway. Just cruising right along. Boy, oh boy. This is nice. Uh, safety systems. Well, you know, you have the surround view camera. You got uh, hill uh, descent control. You've got rear cross traffic safety. You've got blind spot monitoring, uh, uh, parking sensors galore. You name it, I'll cover all of those in a listing when I do my outside review. Acceleration, you know, it's a it's a fairly it's a it's a minivan, so it's not built for sport or carving up uh, canyons and twisty roads or the Nurburgring. Uh, so it's not built for that, but it does get you up and going. Plenty of speed, plenty of power. Uh, you do have that four-cylinder uh, hybrid, so you got a little bit of uh, extra oomph from the uh, batteries there. So it does get you up to highway speed. And again, it's a minivan, so it is plenty of power what you need in a minivan. Um, fit and finish, I gotta say, boy oh boy. I wasn't a fan of the interior design on the last Sienna, but uh, this is really extremely upscale looking and the steering wheel, the stitching, uh, the door panels, everything. Even the uh, kind of striped wood grain trim, I, I don't mind so much. At least they've gotten away from all that gloss piano black trim that they and some others had been doing the past several years. So it, it really looks good. It's all nicely put together in here. It's a fantastic place. It's extremely quiet. Um, I think it'd be an excellent way to uh, lay down some highway miles. So up next, we're gonna let Nathan take a drive and get his impressions. So hang in there, stay tuned. All right, well, it's my turn to drive. And uh, I gotta tell you, uh, it's nicely dampened inside here. A little tire noise, but it's minimal. And uh, the ride is very comfortable. The seats, oh, wow. They are very comfortable. Uh, you know, they're heated, they're ventilated. You've got eight-way power on driver's side, four-way power on the passenger side. Um, so a nice, comfortable ride. In terms of parking, well, it's got the Birdside 360 camera view. And if you set it, the front camera automatically comes on at speeds of five miles an hour or less. So parking can't be easier. Uh, also, uh, navigating around town. Well, you've got a camera button on your left, so if you're trying to get you know, close to a curb or whatever, you can turn that on and you can instantly see where your car is in location to that curb. Um, steering this stuff, it's very nimble on this. Uh, you you, you uh, feel very comfortable. Um, navigating traffic and around the neighborhood areas. Um, you got parking sensors front and rear. Uh, you got front pedestrian collision. You got, you know, the, the rear cross traffic. So you've got alerts all over the place, making it a very safe vehicle to drive around. As far as everything is laid out uh, in the in the front here, you know, your, your nice, that nice seven inch driver's uh, information display is beautiful, easy to see. I in particular love the heads up display because uh, that's a 10 inch screen and your most basic information shows up there that you need while you're driving and it keeps your eyes on the road which I absolutely love um, you know everything else is falls easy to hand your climate your uh, infotainment screen um, drive modes all that kind of stuff plus you have voice command that runs a lot of the stuff on the vehicle uh, easy to get in and out yes you can see on the overlay video here, but it's very easy. I do love those large grab handles on the second row. And if you push the seat all the way forward, the second row all the way forward, it's really easy. You got a large space to crawl into the third row. Really nice van. Thanks for watching.